Hello students. Today I am going to share with you how I knew my calling to study astrophysics and how I ended up studying astrophysics. Now I remember that this is a time around 2006 when I was in 8th grade and I remember in an assembly saying that Pluto was kicked out of being a planet yes this was 2006 and there is a chapter called Earth and Solar System the NCRT book of 8th grade the last chapter you might be remembering so I was very fascinated with that particular chapter that is the first time when I actually learnt some space chapter then after that, during that time, I remember during the summer time, uh, there used to be a lot of power cut in my area. And you know, during that power cut, we used to, me and there are many cousins, we used to go to the roof and we used to lie down and just stare at the stars. The, since it was a power cut, nobody had an inverter, the whole place will be dark and we used to go lie down and see on the top I was fascinated with just looking at the stars I wanted it felt like as if I wanted to understand what is there in there and I believe this was my first calling to study something about space this was my first calling and it was around my 8th grade Next, around the time, I believe that it was 2008 and during 2008, I was, I have actually wrote my board examination, 10th board examination and I got my result too. I really did well in maths and science. So this was a great thing for me and I was so happy that, okay, I'm going to take science now because that was a time when everybody was like very crazy about taking science stream. It was a Kendra Vidyalaya, it was a KV student, okay. I was a KV student and uh, I took science that time and I easily got admission because they used to add my maths and science mark and according to that I was kind of very much through. And I got the admission in the same school where I did my classes till 10th. I got admission in science stream. And after that, when I came back home, I was kind of very happy and overjoyed with my achievement. And uh, yeah, that was a big achievement that time. And I just came and lied down on a bed. I remember I was thinking, what should I do by studying science? And I kept staring on the roof and the fan that was rotating. And I would remember that I was imagining planets, I could imagine Jupiter, I could imagine stars going around, planets, sun, it was kind of a imagination, I, I just can't say more than that, I was just imagine that this is what I want to see in future. And again that feeling to study about space became more stronger in me so I, I'll call it as a second calling of mine and I wanted that is the time when I decided that I wanted to dedicate my studies towards studying space and understanding space as uh, some sort of fascination that just came out from nowhere and I remember that then I went and told my mom that yeah mom I just want to study space she was like okay I was just a 10th grader so nobody took much seriously and uh, I just told her and just came back and started lying down staring at the fan yes I was fascinated there something just kept telling me okay study that study that it's interesting just know what is there what is there on the other side of the earth so that is where my interest started and uh, the craze for looking at the roof and imagining stars and solar system increased so much that I went and bought the radium stickers right you remember I don't know if you remember or not the radium sticker stars that you can put in the 
roof those things actually i bought it and uh, i put it in the night time and it used to get charged by light and when it, when i used to go to sleep every time i used to stare at them it was kind of yeah i was becoming crazy about this particular aspect in my life and i was taking it really seriously so now uh, i took science and uh, i knew that physics is what i need to study to excel in this particular topic and 2009 was when i did my 11th and 11th was very very bad i don't know i didn't concentrate on studying much and that's why i had ended up getting somewhere around 17 physics so i really regret about that but i remember that i get, got around 17 physics that was my 11th and when i came to 12th i don't know some type of superpower came inside me to study physics and uh, i remember my teacher physics teacher who i'm really grateful of mr kumar sir i will still mention his name if you're watching this sir really thanks to you and that interest came actually he was my teacher in 11th but i never showed the interest but in 12th i actually showed more interest and i found that i had a lot of potential i had a lot of capability in studying the subject and i studied it got 95 percent in physics and so yeah and i knew that yes this is my path to study space science and that was the time when it was the advent of internet 2010 that is the time internet was coming bsnl connection okay landline connection internet was coming to everyone's home so i got internet connection that time and i searched about how to study bsc astronomy bsc astrophysics or space science and i got a lot of search results bsc astronomy was there in madras university but it was not happening that time it was stopped then i not i did not get any place to study bsc astronomy as of such so but there were many places to study bsc physics so i thought let me go with bsc physics because of course physics and space science are very much related so and i and even i got uh, high marks in physics so what i thought of okay let me study physics and i got into a very good college in chennai loyola college and i started my three years course of bsc physics life was going good and uh, yeah this is that was a very fun time for us college time fun time and i started my journey with physics started then i started seeing physics in a very different way i really got to know how physics was difficult but i was equally enjoying studying physics my undergraduation was going smooth in second year i remember that i took astronomy club so we need to take clubs as a part to complete the course i got into astronomy club and i remember i actually was very interested in that uh, we went for stargazing we went for stargazing but i don't remember the place because it was completely night time and we just remember that we were doing stargazing there and uh, yeah i also remember that i gave a speech not speech we, i gave a presentation on black holes it was in second year it was kind of everybody was thought like oh my god he's giving a speech on such a huge topic and i yeah i was researching on my own i gave a speech on black hole so i that is when i felt that how close i am to this particular topic and how it, i was enjoying so much to teach this topic also so yeah and my after that my main breakthrough came in third year third year we need to do the internship right to complete the course third year has project to do you need to complete the internship and this is where i got introduced to my hod 
and I asked him, sir, is there any opportunity to go in astrophysics or astronomy project? And he told, yeah. He did yes. Tell, say yes. I was so happy. And I asked him, sir, where? And he gave me introduction to Vainubapu Observatory, VBO. He told that some of your seniors have gone there and done a project work for one month. Why don't you try there? So, and I was so happy. I got their mail ID and I sent the mail to them stating that I am a college student. Final year, I would like to do research or, or I would say the project work in your esteemed institution. I was so happy because they replied with yeah, yes because my college was a very reputed college so they quickly accepted my invitation and that was one of the happiest moment in my life. I was very excited to go there and uh, I remember that they told us to bring clothes for winter clothes. They asked us to bring winter clothes. I was thinking why should we even bring winter clothes in a place in Tamil Nadu because it Kavalur is near Vellur, the place in Tamil Nadu. It is then I realized that we had to go through a mountain, we had to climb on a mountain with, with a car of course and when I reached the top of the hill, this place is called Javadi Hills and this observatory is situated in a place called Javadi Hills and that is when I realized that these places are very cold hilltops are very cold region I reached in Saturday evening Sunday was a work Sunday was the day me there was one more friend with me we two people were doing the internship together I reached there in Saturday evening and Sunday we all were chilling we both were chilling and it was very lonely we only both were there and it was very boring too because there is nothing to chill there the only climate is chilling and uh, that was very boring so we got a guest house to stay it was a guest house somewhere near the entrance we were staying in that guest house it was a pretty good guest house and on Monday morning we met our guide Mr. M. Jayakumar Kanaya and he started to guide us and talk about the telescopes present there there was a good canteen and the food also was good so the telescope that we worked was 40 inch telescope it is the small the smallest not smallest i would say it's one of the small telescope and there was a big telescope which was a 90 inch telescope so we were not allowed to go to 90 inch telescope so our work was on 40 inch telescope we made some nice observations in the sky during the night time and night time i say that we we had to do the night duty our observation used to be from 9 o'clock to morning 4 or 5 a.m sometimes we used to extend our time to see some planets in the telescope we saw moon the surface of the moon was very clear with 14 telescope but there we had to use the eyepiece but usually that telescope had a spectrograph attached with it and that spectrograph used to give us the spectral reading in the computer monitor so we used to see the spectral reading and we used to note down the spectral reading our main work was studying the spectroscopic observation we were doing the spectroscopic observation of some uh, hydrogen rich stars and that was what we did and we wrote a publication uh, we wrote a book on that which nothing famous a book just for a uh, project purpose it didn't get published right so we wrote a book and we were enjoying our time but also it felt very lonely because one month it was like you are far alone in some jungle and I remember my encounter with a snake too it's a very kind of dangerous place it's a forest right so you can have snakes everywhere so night time you need to be very careful you are not supposed to lift uh, your torch up because when you lift your torch up you will be disturbing the observations so that's why you have a rule of only putting the torch showing the torch down on the road and walking so it was a very good time it was a very good time that we had in BBO 
and as soon as one month got finished we ran we ran back to our home because we felt that we wanted to socialize with people we didn't see people around so we wanted to socialize with people that's why we ran back but the time which i enjoyed that was an excellent time I, that was the best, best moment for me and uh, star was so clear the night sky was so clear i could just enjoy seeing it all the time i rem i felt the moment that i was in 8th grade and i was always wanted to be close to star i felt it that day during the internship when i was in vainubapu observatory so i ran back home because i wanted to see my parents i wanted to see my friends literally wanted to run run back run back home and uh, so i completed my third year i was so satisfied with the last year because i have done something like that i have achieved something that i wanted to achieve in my life so that's how my third year got finished successfully so as my bsc got completed now i was looking for doing msc astrophysics and i was looking everywhere so this time internet was there all access were there but uh, i wanted to go, then i planned to go outside and study in different country because i could see that different countries were offering msc astronomy or msc astrophysics but there was a problem i didn't have money it was around 20 lakhs so i decided that okay we will do it in in our country we will do it in india so that is when i realized that when i was doing internship in vainubapu observatory i saw the project of one of the previous student and uh, i'm not mentioning his name here but i opened the project and three people were there from that particular college and it was none other than christ university bangalore so i saw them working and i felt that okay this is a college which is actually promoting astronomy or astrophysics and they are making them study astrophysics in that college and during an interaction in with the scientist in vainubapu observatory I, his his name is stanley and uh, he told me that it is okay to do msc physics i was very, i was in a dilemma should i do msc physics or should i do msc astrophysics because msc astrophysics was not there as of they were there was no course called msc astrophysics in my country so then i decided okay i have shall go with msc physics then i went and searched about christ university and they realized that christ university was actually giving specialization in astrophysics so that made me very happy and um, so i decided i'm going to apply there and i just applied uh, there was an interview my beloved professors were there and uh, i just impressed them i spoke about my vbos experience i was very confident that i would get and i did get so that's how my life of msc physics starts in christ university so christ university gave me a wonderful opportunity to explore more about astrophysics and not only about the opportunity you know there was one of our country's premier institution about astrophysics present very much near to christ university and that was indian institute of astrophysics yes i knew about it when i was in vbo because vbo is a part of iia so yeah i literally walked there and found out that there is a place called indian institute of astrophysics i could see it from outside this was in first year so i wanted to see that place and i took i just walked and i saw it from outside it was wonderful and i decided that during my set, second year i would like to go and do my project there because there in msc also we had a project in second year so yeah second year came first year somehow went second year came i got an opportunity i sent the mail to them and they allowed me to do a project with them this is where i here also i went with my friend one of my friend 
to the IAEA and our guide was Dr. Margareta Safanova and we were working on intermediate mass black hole detecting IMBH in globular clusters and this was a long project one year project so we did this project and yeah I learned a lot about photometry observation a lot and during this time we also went to Krest it's a place in Hoskote near Bangalore from where you can control the Hanley telescope IA has a Hanley telescope so this Hanley telescope could be remotely controlled from Krest and I went there and there also we did uh, some observation again and again it was a very quiet calm and lonely place but next day we came back so this was a great opportunity for me to be with astrophysics I learned a lot there I spoke with many scientists and gradually I developed an interest to know more about astrophysical jets I did my own research during that time we had a very good library in Indian Institute of Astrophysics so I utilized there so my second year was filled with knowledge of astrophysics and also we had a subject like of astrophysics in MSc so that was this was a really great opportunity where I learned a lot about astrophysics during my MSc second year along with my experience in IIA now my second year in MSc and after that was a turning point in my life I will tell you why uh, after I did my MSc I tried writing the J no, not said not J it's called IIAST examination Indian Institute of Astrophysics Schemic Test then I tried writing NET examination NET NET examination so these are the examinations that you need to write in order to get into PhD in astrophysics in IIA I tried my best to do give that but for unfortunately I was not fortunate enough to get into those premier institution so actually if you need to become an astrophysicist you need to do a PhD in that subject and to do PhD you need to write these entrance examination so talking about IIA IIA has three examinations that it usually takes people from one is IIA ST second is the gate examination and third one is the net JRF and uh, yeah they there is a lot of expectation the cutoff is very high and I was not good enough for that and uh, but that didn't stop me from pursuing my journey I during the th uh, final year there was a research and teaching topic there I taught to lower grade not lower grades to lower cl class students or lower like they were graduation students and I realized the passion of teaching in me I know that astrophysics I have studied I have so much of passion in astrophysics but though there was a passion in astrophysics I had a talent in teaching my talent was actually in teaching my strength was teaching I realized that and but still I didn't want to leave astrophysics I went into and joined as a lecturer in one of a reputed college in Bangalore and I was teaching there for two years and meanwhile I was also preparing for net examination and there was a, one was a small uh, yeah breakthrough and that was Bangalore University examination I met uh, Mr. Vijay Kumar he was a professor uh, maybe he is a professor right now but then during that time he was a professor in Bangalore University and I interacted with him and he, gave, he told that I will give you opportunity to do PhD in astrophysics his uh, work was active galactic nuclei so I thought okay so this is a way I can get into I wrote the Bangalore University examination entrance examination for PhD and I got the 22nd rank 
unfortunately again i was not fortunate because though i was 22nd rank they took till 21st rank and i was again out in the cut off that really put me a down that was a time which was a very down moment of my life because i almost missed this chance to be in phd of astrophysics and yeah my professor told me that try it once more but i did not because i decided that though i study astrophysics but i want to be a teacher who teaches astrophysics i want to be a teacher who teaches millions of students and i realized that i had a talent to make 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 physics, physics, physics simple, simple. So after that, I started pursuing that particular thing. I went into teaching. Right now, I have eight more years of experience in teaching. But you might be looking at this video and thinking, okay, so he did not get into astrophysics. You might be thinking, will I? Yes, you will. If your passion is astrophysics, this was my path and this is how I studied. I teach this milestone. But if you have a strong will, if you have a strong will to do the subject, to get into astrophysics research, you will surely get in. You can come along my path, but after that you might get into PhD. There are so many institutions who are providing PhD in astrophysics. I thought very less, but there are so many. In Bangalore itself, there are so many institutions who are providing astrophysics research right so we can see about that uh, so please do a proper research that is this is the age of internet so you all will be able to those who have the passion those who have the calling you will get into where you want to be so in this video i just wanted to share my calling how i ended up studying astrophysics and now I'm teaching all of you. So with that students, I will end my video here. So until then, adios. Hello students, I hope you found this useful. This video was interesting for you. Now students, as a part of my journey to make physics easy for you, I have started an initiative. And that is, I'm going to help the students who are in their IBDP level, who are going to take their ASA level examination, and those who are in CBSE going to take the CBSE examination. I'm going to provide one-to-one -one training for you. And in this one-to-one -one training, I mean that it's going to be a personal attention. I will be taking class for you personally. And also, I'm going to make a roadmap for you until your examination. So I'm ready to help for you in physics and to be successful in the particular examination that you are going to take. But students, let me tell you, my time is limited. So I might not be able to take everyone who's registering. So it's better first come, first serve. And students, I hope this thing will be useful for you. And if you want to register, please click in the link below. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe to Physics Revolution. So until then, adios.